We live with DJ Tony. Shout out to Drinking on Sunday. What's up, y'all? Shit, girl, Olivia, you checking out Drinking on Sunday? Keep it locked. Drinking on Sundays, you know what I mean? Drinking it up. Drinking on Sundays, man. Drinking on Sundays, man. You already know. Drinking on Sundays. Forgive me, dog. Shout out to Drinking on Sundays, man. Y'all do what y'all do, baby. Shout out to Drinking on Sundays. Drinking on Sunday, boy. I was more like, you know, I was more like, you know, the mashed potatoes, you know what I mean? Or, you know, fucking me. And whatever. you were okay with that. First of all, why does this happen? You're in a relationship. Do you think I, people get bored? Um, what? It's, if, if we talking about, like, in food and sad pieces, you don't want the same thing every day. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want what to be that What if it's good, thing. though? What? I love steak. I eat steak every day. So if I get me a nice, juicy let's, steak. Let's use this. Let's, let's try Dark. It. What about crabs? Well, you like crabs, right? I love crabs. You love crabs. I can eat them every day. Every day. Every but day. I bet you you want something to go with them. Exactly. If it's, no, if it's good I'll enough, no. Snap, no, steak no. and potatoes? No, no, no. If you have something good, why do you need extra? If it's already good. Why do you need a side piece? You're always you need... supposed to have, it's like a finisher. That's something that makes sure that everything is the way that you want it to be. And when it, when you talk about being in a relationship, mm -hmm. and somebody's not going to meet all your needs every day. And you work on it. Isn't that the point of being in a relationship? No, no, that's not the point. What's the point of being in a relationship? It helps keep the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Split the bills. Yeah. You know what? You got it way real. So yeah. you so you you think that's the main reason. But you know what? You're on to something. And you know, some people say we have uh, unrealistic expectations of relationships. You know, in the 1920s and 30s and, you know, back in the day, yeah. you didn't get married because you were so in love. You got married because that's what you do. You get together, yeah. you buy homes, you buy land. They even got now, married before sex, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. You, you, they're marrying people they never had sex with. Now we have this fantasy of what we think a relationship is supposed that's to right. be like. Exactly. So I think I we, yeah. we've been, you know, brainwashed to think, oh, a marriage and a relationship is supposed to be strictly about love. It's and, nice. you know, our grandparents probably didn't even marry for love. They probably just married. They probably hated each other. They probably, probably, they probably hated each other. They probably hated each other. But granddaddy never left. He probably had him a side piece. Oh, no. Him. Granddaddy didn't have no side piece. He had a whole nother family. Oh, oh yeah. around yeah, the yeah, had two families. Back in the day, yeah. they had a whole nother granddaddy family. Probably had a, he probably, yeah. Granddaddy probably lived in Holland and in Portland. <laughs> you know, I, mean, look, look, I know spikes. we're from here, but people probably don't even know okay. where Holland is. Okay. They're like, what? Deep rooted you mean Holland in the land. country? No. <laughs> but Let's say can have Granddad more than one had family. a piece in Newport News uh -huh. yeah. and Chesapeake, okay. the peninsula and the South Africa. Yes. So back to the subject. So why do you think men 
get fat pieces, then why do you think women get fat pieces? Women, I think for different reasons. I think a woman may be missing something at home. I mean, I think men, we just, you know, we greedy. You know? Yeah. No, nothing is ever This, be this is what it is. And I, I, I heard somebody say this. Women cheat with men who they really like. Or women. Who they really like. And, and a woman cheats with her, her next up. Like, yeah, her next, next up. up. Yeah, I, got, I got my second yeah. runner up right yeah. now. Yeah, somebody waiting. <laughs> man, a side piece to a, like, a side piece to a man is just, hey, I'm Something. about to go ahead. And, and, yeah. oh, but here's the other part. Most of the time when you meet a side person, you met them somewhere where y'all was all comfortable. Like, your side piece probably is not somebody you met in the club. It's probably somebody that you're comfortable with. At the job, mm -hmm. somebody that you probably seen, it might be somebody from the, the past too. Somebody from the past. That's even better. That's, you know yeah, what I mean? Because you want to be comfortable <laughs> in that sad relationship. Oh, sad pieceologist over here. You know, I know, I know a thing too about. So, do you care that. if your woman has a sad piece <laughs> since you're such a fan? No, I don't. <laughs> you don't care. Hey, hey. Uh, turn up, you know turn up. Mean? That's what y'all got going <laughs> the on. The more the merrier. I you think you're I'm lying. Saying? I think you're lying. I think you want your woman to sit home while you go play off with your No, we can play together. Girl. You know what I mean? Okay, all let's talk us. about when having a sad piece goes wrong. Now, we all seen people get exposed in the media, even in everyday life. You have a sad piece, everything is going great. Mm -hmm. You know, you dip over there every once in a while, but your sad piece falls in love. Or your sad piece wants uh, main see, chick hard. benefits. What that's happens hard. when your sad piece wants main chick benefits? What do you do? You take your Facebook page down first. <laughs> yeah. Definitely do that. They don't screenshot everything. I'm telling you. Hey, this screenshot stuff is, I don't know, hey, it's, it's getting out of hey, control. You should keep your thing in your pants if you don't want screenshots. I'm telling you, the clothes. best thing you can do is go underground for a while. If underground? Yeah, underground. Get off the grid. Get off of all social media for probably about, about a week. You know what I mean? Because then it'll blow over. But if you go and you stay up there, every day you log on. You got to argue with her, all that, yeah. Uh-huh, you, them pictures why that all you your friends going to see. Why you put yourself in that it? situation? If you, let's just say you want to have a sad piece. Why are you giving a sad person outside of your marriage or your relationship the benefit of having to expose you? Why Be even Because the person at home ain't doing what they need to do. Oh, Lord, anyway. That, uh, that is it. not true. That is not true. Sad chicks. Sad guys. <laughs> if you want to, no. Become <laughs> single first. If you want to continue this conversation, make sure you hit us up on Facebook and Twitter, Drink It On Sunday, as well as Instagram, and also DrinkItOnSunday.com. We'll be right back. At EA Tax Service, preparing tax returns is what they do. Locally owned and operated in Suffolk, Virginia, EA Tax Service will take the time to ask the right questions and find all the deductions and credits you deserve. A high percentage of EA Tax Service business comes from repeat customers and referrals. EA Tax Services would welcome the opportunity to earn your trust and deliver you the best service in the industry. Contact EA Tax Service at 757 923 4190 or log on to www.eataxservice.com. Welcome back to Drinking on Sunday, our voice, our culture. Moving along to a new topic. I was on YouTube the other day, you know, just, oh, yeah. you know, browsing around, yeah. looking for, you know, just harmless videos. And I see a lot of videos of children cursing, smoking marijuana, fighting, I mean, little kids. And yeah, guess who's behind the camera? Yeah, the mama. caregivers. Oh. Sometimes it's the parent, sometimes it's the babysitter, sometimes, the yeah, sometimes <laughs> the neighbor. What is going on Everything. that they are not only allowing the children to do crazy things, but they are recording it and they are allowing it to happen? They want somebody to sit. What is what going is. on there's with a the new sub, There's a new subject at school called Ratchet. Okay? Yes, okay. And it's in Ratchet, turn. they're teaching all these kids that are gonna grow up and become babysitters one day and watch our kids how to just basically record everything on their phone, put it on YouTube, everything everything is cool yeah. now that, that's negative, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everything that's negative, kids, they're drawn to it. So if they see a kid smoking weed, it's like two, that's funny. If they see two kids fighting, that's funny. I don't funny. think that's funny. It's twofold. I was the third first off because I seen, you know, a little girl cursing like it was her normal I seen worse. Language. I seen worse in real life. She was just cursing no like it was comfortable for her. Like yeah. she was actually cursing better than she was speaking, like with regular words. And then the second part is her little cousin, which who was a teenager, who was watching her, was the one recording. Yeah, and that's she, the part. So I'm everything like, is Wait funny. A minute. Wait, Wait. It's nice. not, I mean, it's not funny to me. I'm a better. Uh, hey, Roshan, am I a better babysitter than that? Yeah, none of these kids ain't got nothing to worry about. I got one of his kids on a video game. He's been playing for months now. I ain't never seen the kids so dedicated. Yeah, like his daddy right now. So how do you choose a, a babysitter? Because we don't have kids, so how would you? How do you decide okay. who was, who not. watches your children? I first only allow my brother and 
nephew to watch my kids okay. and, my, and my daughter. So um, I based that off of watching them grow up and how they interact. And then I'm okay. then, I'm gonna talk to them about how they're gonna watch the kids. Like I basically give you instructions on my kids when you get them. Like, okay, you need to go to bed this time. You better watch out. Somebody might pee in the bed. This might have all these things that need to happen yeah. to make sure that you know exactly what the expectation is. But I think the problem with some of the parents out here is that they're ratchet. So their standards are lower. Do so you think age let... has anything to do with that? Yeah, age has a lot to do I've seen some people, some young parents, when they're when it's time to turn up, oh, they'll let the bum on the street watch their some kids. Some people ain't that much time. They can say they have a babysitter. Do you think has, is it age or is it just a person? I think some people, some young both. parents are good parents. Don't, I'm, don't well, get yeah, me wrong. I'm but 24. some people are more concerned with other things um, when it comes to balance against children. Do you allow the person who's babysitting your kids no. to spank them? I'm going to be the only one whipping ass. In I can't even swing in the marks. <laughs> even if I want to, the kid kind of fast anyway. So I'm hey. the only one whipping <laughs> my kids ass. And you can take that to anybody who... Would have ever thought so nobody can, ass. not even cousin, auntie? Daddy, mama, nobody. I'm the only one with my kids. First thing I'm doing is yelling. And I so got the mama can't even beat them. If I find out, it might go down. Oh, God, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, because, so, you know, it's a lot, it's been more balanced against children, uh, especially babies, like shaking baby and all of that. Putting so, babies I in the bike away. People are insane. I think insane. I kind of blame the parents sometimes because you can see a little crazy in people. Like, if you, you know you your can't cousin, see, you cannot see crazy. When you are, you know, babysitting someone's child, you have to be careful. Don't hit them. Don't say anything reckless. Don't be abusive. And just give them lots of love. And at the end of the day, as a parent, you should always double check who you need to get with. Triple check. Triple in check. In fact, leave and come back and see what's going on. Or put one of them cameras in the, in the teddy bear. <laughs> Nanny cams. Yeah. So if you want to continue this conversation, Ratchet talk cams. about who do you let watch your children and what rules do you make them follow. You can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, IG, drinking on Sunday, as well as drinking on Sunday.com. We'll be Patient-centered care, providing care that is centered on the needs of the individual. Patient-centered care is committed to providing high-quality, patient-centered, and affordable home care services. Our services are designed to assist clients to lead dignified, independent lives and the comfort and safety of their own homes. Their individual needs are carefully assessed, understood, and met during the selective assignment of qualified, trustworthy, and compassionate personnel. Let us know how we can help. 757 397 0843. Oh, hey, As you can see, we're on the red carpet. Make some, oh, the prettiest waitress in the house. What's your name and what city you're from? Rowdy and Chesapeake. Is she pretty, guys? What's your name and what city you from? Walter, Norfolk. You're, you're a great security guy, you know that right. You take care of us well. He even, he even patted me down. No, I'm lying. He didn't pat me down. Are you having a good Memorial Day weekend? Excellent. If everyone behaving themselves? So far. They better be. Let's go, you guys. Let's go interview some girls. Clap. 
today. Yeah, I came up with my DOS friends and family. So they, they, they bring the black to the seven cities. They keep this party and, and on a pop back. So I got to support them. And we appreciate that. Come up very nice. has an exclusive interview with Yandy of Love & Hip Hop New York, up next, only on Drinking On Sunday. Yeah, it's your boy Dolph from Drinking On Sundays. We live here at Complex. CMP Major Artemis. Yeah, yeah, Big K in the building. Big K, what's going on, brother? Everything, baby. As you can see, we doing big things, man. Big things. I mean, right now in hip hop, man, they standing still, it's moving, it's doing a little bit of everything. What can you bring to hip hop? Man, I'm gonna bring to the table the story of every young black man going through the struggle, going through the hustle, doing what he gotta do to feed his family. That's me all day, baby. Boy. All right. For any, um, what's your next project and where your fans can find your music? Next project called New V8. All right. We gonna come out on July 4th. I got a non-show in two weeks at, uh, I wanna say Bentley's, the old Bentley's Lavish. And um, yeah, we just gonna keep it moving like that, man. And where they can find that music at? You can find the music SoundCloud slash Malik Mavis right? If you're in the 75, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm riding around and getting it all day. You all can right. get a mixtape with whatever you need. And that's how we living, man. All right, it's your boy Doc. My man, Big K from Big CFP. K. Drinking on Sunday. We're in the building live for Complex. Woo-hoo-hoo. Cheers. Yeah, we live at Complex. It's your boy Doc from Drinking on Sundays. We live here with Yandy. What's going on, Yandy? What's up with you? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm very good. I'm drinking on Sunday. You looking great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like I said, the world want to know, how did you juggle being a mother, a business lady, and a fiance of a man going through a federal case? You know, you learn how to prioritize when things are important. My son always comes first. After my son comes my money and everything right. else after that. And when you have your priorities straight, it's very easy to make them happen. Okay. I mean, I know this ain't y'all season, but do you look at the other loving hip hop? Oh, I do look at it. Do you like it? Oh my God. I'm thoroughly entertained. Okay. I mean, now that you and Mandisa is one of the power groups, can we see y'all by yourself? Like and a show I'm, on your own. I don't know about the whole, you know, they've asked us to do it, but I don't feel like I'm interested enough. I don't throw bottles. I think you're interested enough. I don't jump across tables. You don't have to. I don't strip for the camera. I don't have a sex tape. When I start doing things like that, which I never will, never maybe will? maybe then I can have my own show. I just don't think I'm interested enough for my own show. So, um, are you still working with Rich? Watch the next coming season. Okay, um, so since we're not giving that away, is there an artist that you can get away that you're working with? Oh yeah, well right now we're working on Joel's new album. Okay. He's officially off of Def Jam and has a new situation that you guys will hear about very soon. Okay. So we're in the studio all the time with him. I'm still working with Missy. I'm, you know, I'm still doing right. my thing. Alright, so if, um, where can we find their music or follow you? Uh, my Instagram is Yandy Smith. My Twitter is Yandy Smith. I keep things really simple. The name I get checked in okay. is the name of all my social media sites. Alright. Yandy Smith. Yandy Smith. Like man, we out doc, drinking on Sunday. Let's go. Nice to meet you again. Alright. We out here with Dorico, my man Tank from the Outlaws. Right now, we got Donald Little, this rope from drinking on Sundays, you know what I mean? Just let us know what you got going on right now, Tank. Right. What's popping this Tank Tompkins? We got a whole lot going on. Um, we got the Dorico single on YouTube, turning you on, featuring myself. Um, Street Life, you can you can see that on YouTube.com slash RBM Boys. You know what I mean? I got a mixtape coming out called Better Late Than Never. We got a whole bunch of artists on our label, but the main focus right now is the Rico, you know what I mean? So I think it's going good, man. We blessed. Blessed situation. Shout out to my whole family that came out, you know what I mean? Virginia to New York. This was, let me get the Rico up here. The Rico, um, t so how did this single come about? How, you know, like what was the concept behind it? Like how, how did you come up with the single itself? I mean, but for me, we're coming up with concepts, man. It's kind of like everybody daily basis, man. Like I take concepts from people's relationships, man, because I talk to a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And being around a lot of people, you got a lot of information. And as far as me being an artist, I think out of the box. Yeah. So I'm going to always be on 
I'm hitting here, I'm hitting the streets, I'm hitting relationships, I'm hitting real life, you know what I mean? I'm going everywhere with it, man, because I just don't want to be pinpointed into one thing. All right. So for everybody out there watching Drinking on Sunday, where can we find the Rico at? You can find the Rico everywhere, man. <laughs> for real, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna lie to you, though. Find this CD right here. Everywhere we're gonna be on iTunes. You can see the video on World Star. You know I mean, RBM Team Cooling. We out here, man. And I'm representing VA. I'm not representing just one city. From VA to Brooklyn, man. We out here, man. All day. Hey, we out here. We out here. Bentley's the Ace Hood Show. Hell, my man Ghost. You know what I'm saying? When the VA fine and suffering. What it do, my dude? We in the building, man. What's going on with you, man? Nothing, man. You know, chilling, man. In here tonight, man, about to open up for Ace Hood, man. It's gonna be real effort. Suffolk in the building, strong, man. You know what I mean? That's what it is, though. Hey, that's what it is, man. I see you here by yourself, man. Where the, where the rest of the crew at, man? Oh, yeah, man. The crew, they supposed to be coming through, man. Wayne on them, you know what I mean? I had to come in this joint a little bit early, but they on the way. We're going to turn up all night. You already know how we do. All right, that's what it is. So you going in by yourself, though, or a solo joint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely on this ticket by myself, man. Solo, doing my solo thing. I just um, finished my solo project, man. It's doing real crazy. We got the single that's really circulating right now with Rod Digger. So, man, I'm blessed right now, man. All right. Hey, what's, what's the info? How can we get in contact? How can we get some of that good music, man? Oh, yeah, man. You all, you can find me on Twitter, at Ghostmerk. My name, G-H-O-S-M-E-R-C-K. Um, you can check me out on Reverb Nation. Um, my CD is circulating in the streets real soon. We just finished the joint. Facebook, at Ghostmerk. I'm up there promoting heavy all the time, man. So I'm out here, man. Let's go. That's what it is, man. Keep, up, keep doing your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see you in a bit. All right? Fishy. You want to get drinky, drinky? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me get some of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, sure. Yeah. He'll be dead when he get home. How about that? There you go, fishy. Jump. Look at this. Oh, big boss man, Roshan. It's me, Ro, CEO. You know? You got to choke you right now, you here. Tired of hanging my hope you get struck throat or something. How you like that when you get home, Roshan? You hear me? Oh, what do we got here? This is Tisha D. Hold on, Tisha D. Oh, I'm gonna break every mirror here, Tisha D. I know you can't see yourself, you go crazy. If you don't got a mirror, you gonna go crazy. I know you are, Tisha D. I'm old boy. Doc, doc, man, man, you go way back, man. Sarah told, you know, back in the days, man. We was in the streets together, homeboy. You the enemy now, doc. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's over. I don't like none of y'all no more, man. Can't feed my kids or nothing. Don't want to pay me. Don't want to give me no hot chicken or nothing. I'm going crazy. I'm going to take some out of this house. What's this? What's this? What's this? Man, I graduated. I still don't know how to use it. I don't know. What is it? 
Something. I can use it for something. Look like a Bible. I don't know. I'm gonna take that. PlayStation. Yeah, I'm saying I ain't got no PlayStation. I don't know what that is. Got another controller. Yeah, no. It ain't new. Damn, man, I thought Rocha was balling. I thought he was balling. This young old, man. It'll work. It'll work, though. My kids can't eat here for a year. Give me this too. Yeah. This Royal, who's drinking on Sundays. This gonna be my Sundays. Royal gonna own everything. Just know who got you, buddy. Who did this to you, Kelly? Look at me. I did this. Yeah, you thought I would just take that cold chicken boost and just let it be over with? No, buddy. Somebody gonna take a loss. It ain't gonna be me. You gonna pay Royal. You gonna pay me my money. You gonna pay me, or you gonna pay the hospital. You gonna pay somebody. I'm coming for that car boost. I'm gonna steal that car, I'm gonna tell you that now. Roshan, everybody drinking on Sunday. You ain't gotta pay Roy, just keep playing games with me. I'm gonna show you how I get down. I'm out of here. Okay. Thank you for tuning in another great show to continue the conversation you can hit us up on drinking on sunday.com we'll see you next week yo we live here at complex is drinking on sundays mad people showed up cam chancellor my man richard sherman your money yard yandy man dc who else there bro man i done seen a little bit of everybody shout out to gd Chatterman. I mean, like the whole place flooded. We had performances by Mason Yo, aka Big K. Yeah. You know what I mean? We had a whole bunch of celebrities in the building. When we leave here, we go hit another spot. So you keep your eyes on drinking on Sunday and you got your eyes on the prize, man. Let's go, man. Let's do this. That's Roe. This is Doc drinking on Sundays. We out.